guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video again beautiful weather here in Houston and today we've got the ZL1 out and we're gonna be going to a pre-meet for Texas 2k guys that is right it's an gonna hopefully be an awesome good time looking forward to seeing all the cars that are out here coming from all around the US to come and race at TX2K. Now, right before we get into the video, guys, and show you guys all the awesome cars, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to each and every one of you guys that subscribe to the channel. Really, really appreciate it. You guys know who you are, the Speed Squadron. And if you'd like to join the Speed Squadron, guys, it's super simple. I don't ask for much. All you have to do is, if you enjoy the content, like this video, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you can get up to date of all my videos that i post moving forward got a lot of stuff coming really really soon you guys already know if you haven't but the z8 z06 is coming to the channel so if you like that kind of content make sure to hit subscribe now before we get even further i want to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor that's right we have a sponsor on the channel guys and that is simply carbon fiber simply carbon fiber is an amazing company and they make a ton of different carbon fiber products from glasses to wallets and they were kind enough to send me this carbon fiber card and cash wallet guys and this thing is amazing you can fit four to six cards in this maybe even more i've got my license a couple credit cards insurance and also quite a bit of cash if you need to have cash with the money clip this thing is super awesome super compact and fits perfectly in your pockets so if you guys are interested in any other products make sure to check them out link in the description below and use the code jl10 at checkout so you can get 10 percent off on your next purchase but anyways let's get on with the video check that line out guys that is all the way about i'd say a mile or so long and then still probably wraps around and left or right on either ends and we still got a line going up here to the front guys it is stupid packed i mean really not much else there to go um yeah we're just gonna basically drive around and show you guys the cars around here because it is really, really packed. Got a nice Camaro there, Z06. Yeah. Ooh, look at that CTSV. Looking good. Let's see if we can find a parking spot. All right, finally got a parking spot. Parked right next to this beautiful. Oh, it looks like almost purple red Z06. Got another either Grand Sport or C6 Z06 back here in torch red. Guys, red is my favorite color. That's a Grand Sport. And there is a ton of different cars out here. Everyone revving out. Let's go ahead and walk around and, show and see what cars are out here. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Now there are cars all the way to that end and the entrance on that side so let's just keep walking around go down the list here this seems to be like the mustang spot got the gt500 front bumper on a s550 on two of them which one did it better and we got a camaro out here check out the vets here we got this beautiful kind of like cyber gray with blue accent grand sport looking good on 4g autos beautiful blue some more custom wheels the z06 all black and red z06 and then a nice stingray with a bead lock in the back also can't go to a car meet without seeing your trucks got a fifth gen Ooh, check out this turbo pretty big turbo fifth gen oh yeah love that orange inferno color got another cherry mustang ctsv still one of my all-time favorite cars here beautiful 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 so wide
got the Shelby full drag pack. Got a GT350 front bumper on these, so Mustang owners really love to upgrade their front bumpers. Yeah. And I don't blame them. Ooh, got me some Camaros. Beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, got one with a. Let me go check this thing out. We got a 2020 with a drag pack. Then we got a 2018. Ooh, carbon fiber fenders. Ooh, nice drag pack in the rear. Stock 2SS. I don't know if this is stock, guys. Check this out. Ooh. This ZL1 1LE looking beautiful in this wrap. Check it out chase cars i mean they just did a crazy wrap on this thing looking very nice from florida all the way from florida that's one thing about 2k week guys you get cars from all over coming out to texas because it becomes the racing capital of the u.s <sighs> i actually miss my 2011 cat eyes are actually pretty nice too i like cat eyes Got a fifth gen ZL1 up here. These are also really nice. Honestly, probably the next platform, if I was to do a heavily modified car, would be an LSA setup, something like a ZL1 fifth gen. A lot easier with fuel systems to upgrade and make go fast. Especially now that you can get that Kong ported blowers in 2650s, yeah. LSA is the way to go. Check this one from California. Ooh Big old tires. Yes. Something that you're going to be seeing a lot more car meets in the future is, of course, the Teslas. Got the Model 3s out here. Don't see no plaids, but. And all right next to another what looks like it's probably an ss that they've just put the old one style hood and front bumper on yep definitely looking pretty sharp though i like that i like that we got a what i believe is like cyber cyber matrix gray metallic looks almost bluish comment down below what color should i be getting my c8 z06 in Ooh, what about a torch red man the SS looking sharp. I really do miss my SS, guys. Got a 392 with the wide body, a scat pack. And this is one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of Dodge, guys. I mean, instead of making the wide body exclusive to the Hellcats, they basically throw it on everything. So you can get a scat pack with a wide body as well. Honestly, that's. The only gripe I have with Dodge is they make that available for everybody from the factory. Obviously, I know, like we saw all these Mustangs with all these GT500 style front wings. That's all aftermarket. You can't go and buy a S550 5.0 with the GT350 front bumper from the factory. But with Dodge, you basically can do something very similar to that. We've got a fifth gen with a sixth gen ZL1 front bumper. You don't really see this too often. Check it out. The rounded edges of the 6th gen don't really go with the rest of the squared off look on the 5th gen. Comment down below, what do you think of that? Does, does that kind of go well? Uh, I don't know. Got a GT350. Looking beautiful. For some reason, Mustangs I feel like are the only cars that can pull off stripes all the way across. See? Like just doesn't look right on a Dodge. Got a beautiful blue ZL1. This thing is looking beautiful. Got, woo, this thing sounding rowdy. Oh yeah. Man's got the forge line fronts with the drag pack and the rear. Oh yeah. Yeah, so, like you guys saw, I have some crazy looking
looking cars out here. A lot of different style of cars, but a little bit for everybody, which is what I like. I love seeing a little bit of things for everybody. Okay, so never mind. I think we just got to the VIP section on this side, and hopefully they don't demonetize me for the music. They're about to start a two-step competition. This two steps thing is a nut. with some kind of blow-off valve. Woo! Things sounded nice. Anyways, guys. What you think of that two-step stuff? It's wild. People are insane. Nobody listens. It was packed. Just couldn't even be in there. But cars all over the place doing two-steps and doing all kinds of stuff, which is pretty cool. But anyways, guys. Let me know. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite car was tonight and other than that guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video of course got to bring the zl1 out got to show you guys some awesome cars i loved it but with that being said guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one